Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on finding interval of increase and decrease. We're giving a quadratic equation here because the coefficient is minus, we know the curve facing down. Okay, since we're looking for intervals of increase and decreasing, if we know where the vertex is, we can find that. So there are two methods. Let's assume you know a little bit of calculus the problem is really easy because all we have to do is set the first derivative equal to zero and first derivative is equal to minus 4x minus 12. Set that equal to zero, x is equal to minus 3. Okay, so my curve is off a little bit, so minus 3 is the sym symmetry point. Okay, so x equal to minus 3. So from there we can see from minus infinity to minus 3 Uh, we have an increase, increasing function, and then from minus 3 to positive infinity, we have a decreasing function. Okay, so then we're done. If you know a little bit of calculus, that's all you have to do. Now, if you do not know any calculus, haven't gotten there yet, then you stuck with this thing called a completing square, unfortunately, and you do have to find out where the vertex is, or at least to get in the form. So the, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull the minus 2 out here. I'm going to have x squared minus uh, plus 6x here, okay, minus 50. I left a little space here because I'm going to add a magic number, subtract a magic number, and the reason I'm doing all that work is I'm going to combine the first three to get into the perfect square form, thus called per completing square or perfect square. Okay, so the box where the number I'm going to put in there is half whatever coefficient is in the front of x, I'm going to square it. So this is 9 and this is 9. Okay. Now as promised, let's complete the first three terms. I have x plus 3 squared minus 9 minus 50 over here, and then let's distribute this minus 2. Do not open this box. So I have minus 2 times x plus 3 squared plus 18 minus 50. And then the one more step, I'm done. So x plus 3 squared, and then I have a minus, uh, let me show, 2 and 32. Okay, so my vertex, therefore, is that when I set this one equal to 0, I have x equal to minus 3 and minus 32, okay? So as the same answers, if you know the calculus, the symmetry for the curve, it is facing down, and the x minus 3 is the line of symmetry. So on this side, we have a increasing function. So we're going to get exactly the same answer. So from minus infinity to minus 3, we have an increasing function, and from minus 3 to positive infinity, we have a decreasing function. That's this check. Well, that's how we handle this problem. Hope it's clear. If you liked this video, please vote like, or leave a comment and let me know if it helped you. Thank you. Until next time, have a confident day.